Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to manually bypass your thermostat. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In this video we're going to learn how to manually bypass or jump out our thermostat but before we begin just a heads up if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And let's get straight into it. Today we're going to be performing the task of bypassing a thermostat using this training board that I created. This is a representation of an air conditioner. Before bypassing any thermostat or electrical control, it is extremely important to understand what you're actually doing and what you're actually working on. Of course, here you can see we have our thermostat. Behind our thermostat, we are wired. Behind here, this is our thermostat cable. And as you can see, we are using four conductors. We have a red wire, a blue wire, a green wire, and a yellow wire. Some people might just say, jump out this color with that one, but never listen to that. Never go by color. You don't exactly know what's wired behind a thermostat. So I always advise you to take off the cover plate and see which color goes to what labeled terminal. It's fairly simple to take off the face plate of any thermostat. Typically you can just pull off the face, but I always advise to take a look around because you might see an indication of how that one opens specifically. In this case on the top right corner, there is an indication that says press. So you would press that and then pull. Here's the top right of the thermostat. Over here it says press, so you would press and pull the plate. And that comes right off. So here's the back plate to our thermostat and let's zoom in. Let's go over our terminals. So we have a G terminal, which stands for fan. W, which stands for heating. C, which stands for common. Y, which stands for cooling, and R, which stands for power. If you look closely, we have a little jumper, this little conductor here between R and RC. So RC is essentially the same as R. This is your power wire. Next, let's follow our wiring. We have a green wire, which stands for fan, right here. W has no wire in there. So in this replica, we do not have heating, but stick around, I will show you how to jump out your thermostat for heating as well. If you follow the blue wire, it goes to C, which is our common. Our yellow wire is Y, which is our cooling, and our red wire, which is goes to R, and is our power wire, and of course it's jumped over. So these two are both our power terminals. So here's our back plate and we can follow our wiring and it ends up here and this is our low voltage terminal block. In order to bypass your thermostat, you need to know exactly what you're trying to bypass. It's not just a simple thing, let's just bypass a thermostat. We need to understand the function we are trying to override. So in this video, I want to show you a few ways. So the first function that you can bypass is your indoor fan. So we can bypass our G terminal. In this board, this fan here is gonna be our indoor fan. And what starts that is this relay. Next, we can bypass our Y circuit, which is our cooling circuit. So if we follow the yellow wire, it actually goes through a timer first energizes that contactor and then energizes our condensing unit. This is our outdoor unit. This light bulb represents a compressor and this fan represents the condenser fan motor. These two together is our condensing unit. The next thing we can bypass is our W circuit, which is our heating circuit. We don't have a heating circuit here, but you will learn how to bypass the heating or W circuit. Before we bypass anything, it's important to understand how this actually works. 
What is a thermostat? Pretty much, the thermostat is a relay. If you understand the principles of how a relay works, you're gonna be so much better off in this industry you could not imagine. So basically, it's a relay. Between R and C, you have 24 volts. This is coming directly from your transformer. R is your hot wire, your 24 volts. C is your common, and it's constantly cycling through the low side of your transformer, also known as the secondary of the transformer. So let's say you call for fan. This is G is your indoor fan. So basically, the thermostat will relay the power from this wire to G. So now you have 24 volts here, and it is constantly creating a circuit between G and common. Common always completes the circuit. So that's what you're constantly doing. Okay? Because when you have nothing going on, you just have R and C constantly flowing, creating that energy. If you want cooling, now what happens here is actually interesting because not only does R send power to Y, it also sends power to G. So you are constantly going to have power switching over now from R to Y. So now we have Y and C constantly going but we also have G in the circuit as well. So Y and G are constantly circling around and completing a circuit with C. Same thing goes for heating. If you put your system on heat, which is your W wire, you're constantly circling voltage between W and C, and at the same time, G is operating. There are different settings on a thermostat whether or not your fan, aka G, starts right away or if it works off some kind of temperature controller, but this is the principle. Now that we have a better understanding, we can now begin to jump out or bypass the function that we want. So that's why it's important to understand your terminations and not just the color of your wires. So we're going to take off the face plate of our thermostat and we're going to be doing all our work here. Make sure the power is on everywhere, but of course, be careful. So the first thing that we're going to do is jump the indoor fan. We're going to jump out G. So it's as simple as putting a conductor between G and R. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking that R, we're taking that power and doing the job of the thermostat, we're gonna send that power to G, and when we do, it's gonna complete the circuit back to C. So, check it out. In my hand here, I have a jumper cable, but what I love about these jumper cables specifically is that they are magnetic. These are super key. If anyone is interested in purchasing one of these, I will leave a link in this video's description. I also carry a pair of alligator clips. These are used for jumping, for bypassing, and as you can see, you could just push down and they have a jaw. On the left is the alligator clip, non-magnetic. On the right is the mag jumper, which is magnetic, and you could just see a difference in size. This is gonna play a big role in jumping out a thermostat. Also, having a magnetic feature you will also see in the video why it's such a huge advantage. First, I'm going to explain how to jump them all out. So to jump out your fan, which is your green, you're going to want to put a jumper between G and R. If you want to jump out your heating, you're going to put a jumper between W and R. And if you want to jump out your cooling, you're going to put a jumper between Y and R. We're going to start with jumping out our indoor fan. And what we're gonna do is put a jumper between G and R. As you can see, I don't have to keep my hands there and it is extremely convenient. 
my power switch is in the off position and when I flip it on, you're gonna hear a click. That's gonna be this relay's contacts closing and the fan is gonna start. And you can hear the fan. You can hear the fan running and if I pull off the jumper cable, you will see it will stop. There you have it. If I put it back together, I have it right now touching G. If I put it back to R, you'll hear it start. And that is how you jump out the indoor fan. Next, we're gonna jump out our cooling circuit. So we're gonna put a jumper between Y and R. So here's Y. And you could either put it on R or RC. Sometimes these get a little close, so it's kind of hard to do it. But it is being jumped out right now. Right now, I have my jumper cable across Y and R, and you would think it would automatically start, but that's not exactly the case. That's why I love magnetic jumpers. You're not gonna stand there with a piece of wire or like two screwdrivers or a jumper cable for who knows how long, up to five minutes is a typical delay. So, after a predetermined amount of time passes by, that's when everything's gonna start. So, if you look closely into the circuit, right there is a timer for the cooling circuit. Boom! You see? Now, we have... <laughs> Now we have our cooling. You see, sometimes you can't just trust just the jumper method right away. You actually have to keep it on there for a while. Sometimes there's a timer in the circuit. So it's extremely important to have the right tools. That's why I love having a magnetic jumper. You can probably hear the fan running. That is this fan here, which is our condenser fan motor. And this light bulb here represents our compressor. So when we jumped out Y, we energized our cooling circuit. So that would be our compressor, our condenser fan motor. And at the same time, what a thermostat does is while it energizes the cooling circuit, it also sends power to G where your indoor fan motor would start. Because we are doing this manually, if you just jump out R and Y, the only thing that's gonna come on is your condensing unit. You would need to send power to G as well, but that's why it's important to run this test through, you know, each series that I'm explaining. All right, so when I pull the jumper off, you're gonna notice that our condensing unit is gonna shut off. To jump out your heating function, you would follow the same principles. Basically, we would put a jumper between W and R. We don't have heat in this circuit, but just give it a couple minutes and that will do it. Let's do a quick review on what we learned today. So to bypass your thermostat, we're gonna want to basically act as our thermostat and relay our hot wire to the function desired. So as we learned, R is our hot wire. So we're always gonna start from R. Next, if we wanna jump out our cooling circuit, we're gonna go from R to Y. If we wanna jump out our heating circuit, we're gonna go from R to W. And if we wanna jump out our indoor blower motor, our evaporator fan motor, we're gonna jump out R to G. And our fans started because the power is on. So there you have it. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you bypass a thermostat. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Yeah.